Hello and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today I'm reviewing The Mysterious Mansion by Daria Song. So people will know Daria from her colouring books The Time Chamber, The Time Garden and The Present. This is her newest book and it is not exactly a colouring book although it does have some colouring elements inside. It's more of an activity book with colouring included. So what I've done is I've actually gone through and translated everything in the book from Korean because it is all in uh, Korean language and I've translated it to English so that I can tell you exactly what everything says and just save you a bit of time doing it yourself. So the book itself has this beautiful matte cover and this absolutely gorgeous text here. It's, it's like a holographic um, material on the text. It's absolutely beautiful. And then we have um, a monochrome detail in Daria's signature style. So we get straight into the book. It's got this removable dust jacket, which is absolutely stunning. You can have it um, either way. So you can turn this around and have the book with this front cover that you can colour yourself, or you can have it with the, the darker colour so it looks like the night time style. Totally up to you, but that's a really cool feature, being able to sort of reverse the uh, cover itself. The actual book has a beautiful colourable cover as well. And you'll notice as we go throughout the book that there are these darker scenes like nighttime and the lighter scenes as if we're in the daytime. So I guess that makes it more mysterious. So we have a blank page here and then the title page and then we're straight into the beginning of the story. So this is telling us what the book is all about. I'll just get my little cue cards because I do not speak Korean, so I've had to <laughs> obviously um, translate all this and I've put them all on these little cards here so I can just read them out to you. So this page basically says that this is a mansion of missions and secrets. There are 28 rooms full of magic and deception. You have to unlock the secrets to escape from the mystery mansion. So obviously you can colour this in if you wanted to. There are sort of grayscale bits as well that you could also colour in. So this one here says, turn the page to open the Pandora's box into a new dimension. Complete the mission of the crystal ball or you'll be trapped in the box forever. Escape by connecting the lines in the crystal ball. So the first activity Daria has for you here is to basically colour in between these lines or just do the outline of this building in the crystal ball. So that's super simple. Now, if you are a massive fan of Daria's artwork, this book couldn't be any better for you because it does include the colouring elements you might want to do yourself, but it also includes amazing full colour artwork done by Daria. So this here is chapter one and it's the gatekeeper of the mansion. Chapter two is the mirror room, three eyes in the dark and four the moving mansion walls. So here we have chapter one and it's uh, the second activity which is meet the gatekeeper. So in order to pass the gatekeeper guarding the mansion you have to complete um, the missions Daria has done for you. <clears throat> then we have escaping the endless stairs and a distorted structure page. Now, obviously this here tells you what you have to do for each mission, but I'll tell you that as we go through so you can see at the same time what we're doing. So here, in order to pass through the gatekeeper guarding the mansion, you have to go through this uh, sort of lock maze to get from a number to the lock itself. Now, this is one that sort of um, puzzled me a little bit because the answers are all in the back of the book so I kept flipping and having a look what you had to do um, <clears throat> and basically you can go from any number to get to this lock really uh, but it is it does have a certain number and it does have a certain pattern which you'll see at the back of the book so that one was a bit odd but um, a few of them are it's a bit strange maybe it's lost in translation I don't know so this is endless stairs and hidden keys so to escape the endless staircase you must find the six hidden keys in this picture now they are very hidden and it's basically the outline of a key so it's not like you're looking for an actual gold key so uh, for instance there's one just there hiding so you have to find six of those now this distorted structure page you simply have to color this in order to move on to the next room so we now have chapter two, we have mirror, mirror, and we have broken reflection. So this is mirror, mirror, 
you have to count how many of this girl that you can see in this entire space. So that includes hands and feet that are just poking out of places like this little hand here. Um, so there's a lot, there's a lot to find because the mirrors are also, um, you know, reflective and they're all showing different pieces of her. So there's loads and loads of different bits to find on this. Again, all the answers in the back of the book, thankfully. <laughs> This is Broken Reflection, uh, so you have to break the mirror that holds you captive. Find 15 differences in the picture. So, obviously, it's all about the frame here, and you have to find the 15 differences. One is here, so this has a small little round sphere inside it, and this one has a little star inside it. So you're finding the differences in the frame. So this is chapter three. Uh, we have Escape, the Room of Mirrors, and we have the Gargoyles Attack. So this is um, when you've escaped from the Room of Mirrors, you've come out onto the terrace of the mansion and you suddenly feel like you're being watched. So there are so many things, so many statues and creatures looking at you. So you have to count all of the eyes that you can find in this scene. And that's individual eyes, not a pair of eyes. So on all these different creatures. So here is where the gargoyles attack and it says that those statues we saw on the previous page are alive and they're moving around. So they're chasing you, you have to join the dots to extend the bridge and move on to the next stage. So here is a bit of a dot to dot for you to make this bridge. So here we go with the next chapter. We have um, moving exterior, trapped in time, 12 doors with one exit, timeless chaos and the secret door so here just color this in if you want to <clears throat> so the translation's a bit sketchy on this particular mission but basically i think you just have to color it um, in any colors that you want to to move on This is trapped in time and you must break the watch glass to escape the clock tower. Divide this glass into four pieces. Each piece um, must add up to 20. So that's the numerals themselves. Now this is really difficult. So I had to definitely look at the back of the book for this one. But basically you have to cut this clock into four pieces uh, and each piece, the numerals must add up to 20. So I think one of them is taking a line here and you have two, add five, add six. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, add seven. So that would be one piece and that adds up to 20 altogether. It's very, <laughs> unless you're a mathematical genius, which I'm not. So the next one is again a bit difficult, but if you've got a calculator, you'll be fine. So it says, if it's nine o'clock now, what time would it be after 23,999,997 hours? And which door, once you've, um, you know, drawn the hand onto what time it would be, which door does that point to? And that would be the door that you escape from. So this is Timeless Chaos, and this is where you have to find, I think it's six pieces, yeah, find the six magic signs to escape uh, this room. Now these magic signs, oddly enough, are further down the book, they're here, so this is what you're looking for on this scene, and you have to find all of those items to escape the room. And this one, Secret Door, is just another colouring page. Okay, so the next one we have Existence of Non-Existence, Room of Confrontation, Winter Kingdom, and Mansion Maze. So, chapter five. We have the illusion floor, the wonders await behind the door, and the strange wardrobe. Now, the illusion floor is where you have to colour all of the white squares here black, and that will reveal this beautiful optical illusion that will allow her to pass through to the next room. Here she is faced by a beautifully patterned door and a fairy is guarding it who tells you to colour the other side of the door using only five colours but none of the colours can be next to each other. So that's a, a, quite a challenge using only five colours and making sure that they're not adjacent. 
Now this one hasn't really been well thought out, um, but maybe that's just what you have to put up with in the uh, mysterious mansion. But this is a strange wardrobe and it says suddenly as you pass through that door, your body is flat like paper. You have to cut out everything um, and you know, it's a bit like those paper dolls you used to make when you was a child. But as I say, if you've just finished colouring that piece, you're not really want to gonna cut out, uh, gonna want to cut out anything on the back. So not very well thought out that one. Now, as we move on, we have the veiled window, disappearing numbers, mysterious chambers and moonlight chess. So here she has come through that door, through the paper room and she is facing the wall of alphabets. So you have to find 50 words to escape from this room. Now, the 50 words are on the back here and they're all in English. So that will be super fun to do. And um, it's basically just a huge word search. So when she's done that, all of those alphabet squares disappear and reveal some number squares. Now they're 81 squares all together and it's basically it's Sudoku. So if you play that you'll know the rules of this. Again, answers are in the back. Um, basically you just have to fill in numbers from 1 to 9 and each individual square like this can only have the number 1 to 9 once and also going horizontally, that's that way, and vertically it can only have that number once. So that's the, the basic rules of Sudoku. I can't explain things very well, so. Uh, the next one is going through the entrance, which is not distorted. Now, if you'll see, this door is sort of a bit crooked. We've got some windows that are half off um, and there's loads of different doors, but you have to find the one that is not distorted. Here we basically have a giant game of chess. Now here is your chess board with your white and black uh, squares. And then we have these cut out chess pieces as well. So whether you win or lose this game, it says that you have to move on to the next stage. So just find someone to play with, um, cut out the pieces, play it with your dad or your sister or anybody, your child, and um, move on. So we have the powerful wardrobe, the alchemist, mystical dice, and the tsunami maze. Now here's another cut out the clothes and colour them. Now this one actually has just a, a normal pattern on the back so you can cut, cut those out without sacrificing anything. And also if you do cut out the little girl, you can cut out this sort of trapezium shape with her and then cut these rectangles out at the top and they slot together so she can stand up properly. So another one to colour there. Another one to colour here, so this has all got really interesting pieces that she's collected and it's just a, a very unusual piece of art that you can colour. Here we have the mystical dice, so what you must do is cut out this seven sided dice and each of the faces of the dice are spells and they mean something and I'll show you what they mean in just a second because I've translated all that as well. Now the uh, the dice is actually called a crystal because it's a dice of spells and it says here that you've lost the crystal in the tsunami and you then have to go through this incredibly intricate maze to get the crystal back so you start here on the white and you have to go all the way around through the maze until you finish up here where the crystal is so that's going to take some time now the next page is uh, all the different chapters but this is the dice game so it's a bit like snakes and ladders so I'm going backwards and forwards here now snakes and ladders usually looks a little bit something like this um, so you've got the numbers where you start from and then you just go around until you get to the hundred which is the exit now the dice the different faces tell you the moves that you can make so I've got them all here on my little <laughs> cue card so this face which is this one means bad luck, you've been stabbed with thorns, move back two places. This one here is the keys and it says regardless of location, move to the lock room. Now the lock room is just here on number 15. It's something about this book is that it's quite difficult to sort of get into that spine and some of the items actually are quite close to that that you have to find so it's a bit difficult. Now this one is uh, lose a turn because you've uh, the statue has turned to ice. Uh, this next one is you found the crown take two turns this one is wherever you are on the map you must go to the moonlight room which is here 
This is the Lucky Ladder, so you can move up to 14 places from wherever, wherever you are, so that's a really good one. This uh, ladder here, where are we? There we go. And then this final one says, you can't hide from me. You, you can move to any of your opponent's positions on the board. So say you're here and your opponent's there, you can just move to where they are. So that is each of the sides uh, explained. Obviously, if you get a number, you can just move that many spaces. So these chapters, we have The Glass Garden, Lost in the Mansion, and Secret Passageway in the Mansion. So we have the snakes and ladders that we've just seen. We then have to look for three keys and uh, use um, uh, go through the maze from the staircase, which ends here, to the door, which is here. Now, these white lines on the tile floor are your maze, so you have to make sure that you go past each one of these three keys in order to collect them. Now this is exactly the same thing on two pages, one with the daytime view, one with the nighttime view, but exactly the same maze. Um, what you have to do is go through the entire mansion because all of these individual mazes are actually connected. So you start here, that one goes through to this one, that goes through to that one, and they all go through to each other until you end up at the exit here. So lots of mazes in this book. If you're a maze fan, in particular intricate maze fan, <laughs> then you'll definitely love this one. So here we have Escape the Magic Woods Behind the Mansion. It says your name has disappeared into ashes. Never look back. So there's nothing more to do activity-wise in this book. This is just some beautiful artwork of her escaping through the forest. You can colour that if you want to. She's looking back at the mansion through the brambles here. And then we have those answers. So I'll just quickly flip through those. You can see that she has shown you how to get through all the different mazes and things. And then we have that um, distorted door scene that you can colour in if you wanted to. And that is the end of the book. So absolutely stunning. I mean, Daria must have took so much time putting all this together, doing all the artwork, drawing it, colouring it, you know, organising all of the different missions that you have to do. The paper itself is beautifully thick. It feels smooth, but it does have a slight tooth on it, so it's fine for your coloured pencils. Um, it is thick. Water-based pens I don't think will bleed through. I'm just going to check it. So let's find an innocuous place to just do some colouring. So this is just a Tombow pen. Let's see. No, absolutely nothing whatsoever. Let's just do a darker colour just for the sake of it. No, nothing at all. It's a beautiful paper. You've got a full colour book. It's got colouring elements in it in Daria's beautiful style. So if you are a fan, you'll love this. And of course, you're going to want to know where to get it from. So the best place I've found to get it from is on Etsy through the shop called 70 East Books. Now this seller, she's called June. She's absolutely lovely. She sells a lot of the different Korean and Japanese colouring books that you can find hard to source in this country and she ships them out from um her house in korea so she's actually living in the place where this is published so she's can get her hands on books really really easily now she ships every single book with tracking information so that you know exactly where your book is there's no chance of it getting lost or if there is you know you'll be able to find out where it is um and really reasonable prices actually so this book in uk pounds is 18 pounds 49 and she'll ship it from north korea sorry south korea to the united kingdom for six pounds 93 so again a substantial purchase but all of these korean and japanese coloring books it's always the same story it's always going to cost quite a lot um, but they are absolutely beautiful quality and again if you're a fan of Daria's you will probably want to spend that bit extra to get this gorgeous book. So 18.49 from Korea to the UK. If you're in the US I'll just uh, change this so we can see the United States. So we want United States dollar save. I'm just going through this on Etsy. Okay, so it's $24 in America with $9 shipping. So you can obviously go through Etsy and find out wherever you are in the world what your costs are going to be. But I'm going to leave that link in the description so you can check uh, your different costs. Now this book actually comes for a limited time 
with a beautiful metal spoon, which is sort of a, a limited edition gift that goes along with the Mysterious Mansion. And it has the key that she's so looking for in the mansion. And it's just, it's just a really cute little um, emblem to go with the book. It also comes with, I believe this is a sticker. Yep, so it's a sticker from the Mysterious Mansion. And these bits are just from June that she includes. Speaking of June, when she sends out any book, so any book, not just this one, she puts it in this absolutely lovely little canvas bag that she actually made herself with her 70 East book stamp on it. And I just think that's such a beautiful touch as well, that everything arrives in this lovely protective cover. So I've waffled on about this book long enough now. Absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. I'm glad that I've been able to get the translations across for you so you don't have to spend time doing that yourself. Again, the link to buy this is in the description of this video. And if you've enjoyed, do let me know in the comments. I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.